Hi friends, this is Sneha from Essen Creatives and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a monogram floral alphabet and decorative letters on Procreate. Uh, something like this that you see here. You can use these for Insta story highlight covers, for planner stickers, for scrapbooking and for wedding invitations. Well, the applications are really endless. Uh, so let's get started. What we're going to do is first we're going to go to our gallery and we'll open an Insta story uh, highlight cover size uh, canvas. But you can use any canvas that you like. So I already have this template. It's 1080 by 1920 pixels. So I'm just going to open that. Okay. Uh, if you don't already have that, then you can just go here, click plug, and you feed in the sizes that you need over here. And then you click on create, but I'm just going to go to my uh, template that I already have here, right? Now, this is something that I've already created. Please don't get confused by these other layers which are down below. We're going to start from scratch over here, okay? Just going to bring this layer right on top. Okay? Just please ignore these other layers, right? So first thing what we're going to do is we're going to add our text. Okay, so you go to this little sign over here on top and you click on add text. Now before you add your text, you need to make sure that the color that you've select, selected is the color that you want, okay? So I'm going to go with the black text, right? So you just select this and click on delete and you know, we're going to make the same uh, design that we saw. So something like if, you want, if you're creating a monogram, then just one alphabet is great, just one letter if you want to create a highlight cover with more um, alphabets then sure you can do that but since insta story highlight covers are small and in this particular example we're going to make an insta story highlight cover i'm just going to leave it at h but then again it depends what you're creating these decorative letters for so you do what's right for you okay now we're going to select this and then we can uh, go in and select the font you know there are several fonts that you can use just select it and then change the font as you wish I like this die dot font so I'm gonna leave it at that <clears throat> you can increase the font size I think this is good okay you can click on done when you're done now to move it just select just you know you need to just click on it and it gets selected automatically Unlike other things on Procreate where you need to go to the select tool, which is this. But you can also use this to select it. Okay. And that's it. Now we're going to open a new layer and we're going to add our artwork to this. So you need to already have your artwork saved on Procreate. Uh, not on Procreate really, on your iPad, like in your photo gallery. So the, there are many ways to do that. The way I do it is that I move my files to Google Drive and from there I bring them into, I just save them into my camera roll from Google Drive. You can do that through Dropbox, you can do that through AirDrop. You know, if you're transferring something from your MacBook to your iPad or from your iPhone to your iPad. So there are many ways to do that. Just make sure that your art is already in your photo gallery. So we're going to go to gallery and we're going to go to insert a photo. Okay. I'm going to go to recent and this is the one that we'll choose. So now you see since this is a new layer, we had already created a new layer. It comes on top. Now I'm just going to undo that. Redo. So here's a little tip. Undo is two fingers. You know, tap it two fingers and to redo it, you just tap with three fingers and it undoes the undo. <laughs> anyway. So now we've placed this on top, but I want it, so actually this is looking pretty good, but if I want it to be behind my alphabet, I'm just going to push it down. I'm just going to reorder the layer. I'm going to select it and move it around to just make sure that I like the positioning. Okay. Uh, you can always rotate it from here, but I don't want to rotate it. Now this uh, particular artwork is a watercolor eucalyptus, uh, this lovely pale gold eucalyptus design from uh, my shop. It's one of my own that I've created. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Okay, so I'm happy with how it looks like it's creeping up from behind one of the legs of the edge. Now I want to bring it to the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my layers and I'm just going to 
slide and duplicate it. I'm going to select this, rotate it, and bring it to the other side. This is looking quite good actually if I just leave it this way, but I want to make it a little smaller just to add some visual interest. Okay, that's it. I'm quite happy with this, but now what I want to do is I want to make these a little lighter. So I'll go to this N and I'm going to reduce the opacity. I'm going to do the same thing for the other layer. Okay, I'm going to select that. I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit just to keep it a little bit subtle. And there we go. Now we have a floral alphabet. Now if you want, you can just merge all three of them and it becomes one single raster file. After you do this, you cannot edit uh, your text. You know, it's a flat image now. You can of course select the whole image and do what you wish with it. You can make it small, you can make it big, you can export it as a PNG file, you can use it for sublimation. There are many things that you can do with uh, this monogram now. But yeah, we're just going to leave it like this and you can go and export it from here, share it however you want, export it, save it, use it. So this is how you make a floral watercolor alphabet on Procreate. I hope this tutorial is helpful to you and please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll leave a link to the artwork below and I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.